Well, hello, and welcome back to Rental Rundown. I'm your host, editor Alexis Brum. As you know, our goal is to challenge experts, industry leaders, and rental business owners to answer a series of questions in only four minutes. In this episode, I hung out with Garrett Schimmel, CEO and co-founder of IronUp, which is a software platform that allows contractors to manage their equipment rentals in one interface. Let's get the rundown. Garrett, welcome to Rental Rundown. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Then your time is going to start right now. So you are the co-founder of IronUp, which is the first rented fleet management platform. Can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. So uh, as contractors and renters have moved more from own to rental, um, they need to manage that better. So we're the software platform that helps them professionalize that process. Awesome. Now you speak three languages, which includes German and Spanish. First, can you say a super cool phrase in German? And secondly, what's another language that you would love to learn? Uh, German, how about uh, Schweinhaben? Uh, it literally means to have pigs, but it means to be like super, super lucky. Um, Second language, I'd ha- this is super, super random, I know, but Euskera, it's the language of the Basque people in northern Spain. Um, super old culture. I would love to learn that. That's awesome. That is not a typical answer, and that is fantastic. Very cool. And, you know, pigs, good luck. <laughs> so <laughs> the next question, how has the shift from own to rented equipment utilization grown the rental industry And what challenge does that present to renters that are used to owning? Oh, that's, that's a great question. I mean, no secret that, that rental has grown pretty significantly. Um, The ARA has tracked it, I think at at near 60% of all equipment utilization. Um, So it's just grown period. I think Um, along the way for renters, uh, there have been a lot of challenges, right? So just logistical challenges, knowing what's where is, is a problem. Uh, you can dive deeper into how they really measure success, things like equipment utilization, cost allocation, um, and there are a lot of challenges there. Um, so so for especially medium to large companies, I think there's there's a need to respect some of the stuff that happens before the rental and after the rental mm-hmm. uh, and make that easier. Um, I think that's really we have to focus yeah. on helping, helping that process. Absolutely. And we have just under two minutes now. So we are going to jump to a very fun question, personally for me. Who is your favorite Marvel superhero and why? (laughs) No DC love, huh, Alexis? Um, Gambit for sure. Uh, Smooth talking Cajun. Anything he touches can blow up. Like, surely that would be a helpful skill if you had it. That is fantastic. I do love DC. Wonder Woman is very close to my heart. I am also a very tall Amazon. So I do have some DC love, but had to throw Marvel out there. So we have just about a minute left and you ran Equipment Watch for nearly a decade. How has that experience impacted you and what did it teach you that you've brought into your work today? That's how I got into the equipment world, and and, uh, for that, I'm thankful to Equipment Watch forever. Um, We were a a high-growth business. We're able to hire a a lot of wonderful people and and to understand what it means to grow uh, that kind of business. So um, fantastic opportunity, and I'm thankful for it. Yeah. Now you have 30 seconds. This is a quick one. You're throwing a summer barbecue for your friends and family. What are three things that you have to have? Margaritas, cornhole, as we say in the South, not bags, as you guys may say up north, uh, and definitely not burgers. Some other kind of sumptuous meat, but burgers are for inside. Oh, but, um, that is a hot take. Yep. Wow. I love margaritas, though, so that is a great answer. <laughs> now, we have five seconds, so I am going to stall for a little bit here and let the buzzer run out. There we go. 
that is our time. But I want to ask one more question because I think it is really important for viewers here. What do you think is the future of the equipment management competency in construction? Oh, that's a great question. Um, first of all, it's, it, I, I think it's being greatly impacted by the rise of non-mechanics-based activity. So over the past decade or two, maintenance has shifted more and more to the dealer from the contractor. Um, so the, other, the skills are changing. So I think the rise of data telematics and the resulting what I like to call the equipment analyst um, has changed things significantly. So that person is going to come from probably a non-wrench um, turning route. Um, so could impact culture, definitely impacts recruitment strategy for equipment management. Um, yeah, so telematics and data are probably the big thing impacting equipment management. Yeah, absolutely. We are seeing that across the board. So perfect thing to end on. I hope you had fun. That is it for today. Thank you for joining us and I hope you had fun. I did. Thanks so much, Alexis. Thank you.